Welcome! In this blender materials and lighting tutorial, we will create wooden material for our cup, create nice lighting for the scene, and finally, render. So let's switch to cycles rendering engine first. Now let's create a believable wooden material. I'll split the window and select shader editor. Now for this wood material, it should not be very diffuse or very shiny, you know? If you look at some reference photos, you will see that most of the wooden cups aren't totally diffuse. They have some shininess to them. But do not change this specular value. The one you should be changing is this, the roughness value. Because in the real world, roughness of the surface of the object affects the shininess of the object. I have discussed in detail about the materials in my principled shader video. I'll put the link in the description. So the point is, <laughs> change the roughness. So we will get not very shiny or very diffuse but medium shiny wood and I think it's better. Now this looks good but the texture looks too flat, doesn't look real. So we will create a bump map using this wooden texture to add more details to this cup. So in the photoshop, I will open up the wooden texture that we used for our cup and first I will desaturate it by selecting image, adjustments, desaturate. Cool. Now I will use levels to add some contrast. Like so. Okay, now the bump map is ready. Load that bump map into the blender and always set the color space to non-color data for the bump map. Next, I will add the bump node by going into vector, bump. Connect the color output to the height input and this normal will be connected to this normal. And this looks very ugly because the strength of the bump is too high. So I will reduce it because we just want to add very subtle details. Like so. Yeah, that looks better. The cup looks more believable now. Okay, now let's create the lighting. But before that, let me adjust the camera first. And by the way, a quick tip, if you press the control, alt and numpad 0, the camera will be adjusted according to the current view. I will adjust to get a nice angle. One more thing we need to add is the background. A really quick and nice way to create it is to add plane, scale it, extrude these edges up and select these sharp edges just add some bevel and right click shade smooth perfect let's go into the render mode and everything is dark because there are no lights in the scene so let's add some before that let's set the world color to black as i don't want any other lights to affect the lighting I will add the point light and this will be the main light in the scene so I will increase the power of this lamp. And we don't want any sharp shadows, we want softer shadows and to do that increase the size of the lamp. So we will get this nice soft shadows and I will adjust the strength and the position of this lamp so it will look good in the camera. So we want reflections on the left side that will look good and I also want light on the right side. So I will add one more lamp and we don't want to get rid of the shadows alright. This will be kinda like a fill light. I'll hide this lamp for now. It's better to see how light behaves individually in the scene. So I will adjust the intensity and the size of this lamp because you know we just want soft light at the right side like a fill light. And I think this will work. Let's unhide the main light and see how it looks. Yeah that looks much better. But we are not done yet. We need to add another lamp that will light up the scene from the top just to add a little oomph to the scene. So I'll hide these lamps and add another point lamp. Let me drag this up and this light will light only the upper parts of this cup so I won't increase the intensity too much. 
and we also want much softer shadows for this one. Okay, and I will position this kinda over here, so we will only get the nice top reflections on the cup. Nice, that looks good now. We got the balanced lighting in the scene now. Cool. Let's go through the render settings quickly and hit render. Let me set the subdivisions to 4 and 300 samples would be enough. Image dimensions 1920-1080 and under layers turn on the denoising. And under render I will reduce the light bounces to something like 6 cause honestly we don't need so many bounces. Cool, let's render this out. So that's it guys, hit that like button. We learned modeling, UV and wrapping, materials and lighting in this 3 parts tutorial series. Check out the previous tutorials if you missed and also other videos on this channel and subscribe to learn everything about CG. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.